Hi, I'm Samuel Pont. I'm strength coach to BJJ Team CFS Brighton. Um, today I'm just going to lead you on several through techniques um, to really improve up your grip strength for Jiu Jitsu, Judo and many other of the grappling arts. Okay, technique I really like to use a gi hang, so just looping the gi over the top of the chin up bar and just hanging there for as long as possible. Really activate your lats by just pulling them back slightly. And if you like hanging there in guard position, a great one for increasing up your static strength and uh, just really working the grip well. Another technique I really like to use, as you see here, are kettlebell swings, but using the towel loop through the kettlebell handle really works the grip like really intensively. You'll really find that burns the forearms and the fingers. Um, great, great way of using the bell and a great adaptation to your routine. Okay, these are another device that I like to use uh, to increase crushing grip strength and these are like really heavy duty hand grippers. Um, I like to use Captains of Crush. This one's not a Captains of Crush but has a similar uh, kind of poundage on it. If you see there this is a number, it's a grip 200 so it's 200 pounds of pressure um, to close it once. Now I find these really good for uh, no gi grappling, also gi grappling as well but really it, it does improve massively your grip strength. Um, you'll find that your grips massively improve statically by working your crush, crushing grip strength and also it's really good to have that feeling of being able to actually crush things with your hands of course. So I can probably close this, I reckon, probably, yeah, I normally go for reps of around 10 on this. Um, but then I've got a number three gripper as well. Um, over here, let's dig that out for you. That's a number three gripper, I think that's Captain's of Crush it is. And now that takes, I think it's around 300 pounds of pressure, I think, to close once. Now I used to be able to close this, um, but there's not a chance that I can close this anymore. Um, and they go all the way up to number four, which I believe only something like 10 people in the world have actually closed. Um, okay, this is another device um, I like to use for grip strength. It's called the Fat Grips. Literally, it looks like a sleeve like that, and you can just slide it over any dumbbells or barbells, or as I'm doing here on a 32K bell. Um, literally, it just fits over the handle like this. As you can see there, it just fits over nice and snug. And obviously, it just increases up the diameter of the handle, so it makes it a lot harder to grip during rows. Um, you can also use it for swings, that kind of stuff. You can see the diameter there. I've got quite large hands. But, uh, yeah, really, really uh, works the grip strength during uh, most, most exercises. Great piece of kit, and, yeah, will really grip your static grip strength. Um, and it's a nice kind of forearm size as well so for all you no gi grapplers yeah a great piece of kit and um, a pair of those normally set you back about 25 quid okay this is another one that i love to do it's a great one for rehabbing your fingers if they've been injured um, also improves your grip strength but yeah really good to do if you've got injured hands and just rehabbing those fingers some of your grapplers will know if you play spider guard open guard that kind of thing your fingers can really take a bashing so take the uh, tea towel at one end pinch it between your fingers and to slowly begin to roll it up as far as you can nice and slow pulling it up like a spider one finger at a time till you make a really tight ball of it in the hand and then slowly letting it out and it really works the mobility of the fingers and the strength of the fingers as it comes down and roll it back down again you'll probably find that quite easy if your hands aren't injured so you can progress on to using this with a weight actually tied at the one end of the tea towel um, and it makes it a lot, lot tougher. You'll start to find by the 20th rep of rolling it back up. Um, this is one to do for time, really. You'll find that your hands are really burning, so your forearms are burning as well. Those finger extensors and flexors are really kicking in. Um, yeah, really good, this one. Uh, really good rehabilitative exercise. Um, definitely one to chuck into your arsenal there. And lastly, uh, a great technique that I love to use is a towel looped into the door and using it for recline rows. Great way, to, again, to really work the static grip strength. really feels like you're controlling those sleeves with the gi. Um, so you just wrap it around. You could wrap it around a post or you can shut it in the top of a sturdy door frame. Now just keep your core nice and tight, keep your chin tucked in and just use your elbows to row your body right into the, to the line where your hands come up into the chest and extend slowly back down again and you'll get a really good uh, upper body back pump on this one whilst working your grip also. Okay, don't forget that I've got a full range of apps on the Apple App Store and the Android App Store. Fit to Grapple is a great one uh, for grapplers obviously, so just search Fit to Grapple on the Apple App Store. Also come across and follow me on Twitter at Samuel Pont, um, also on Facebook at Samuel Pont Training.